I published a circuit, say one hour ago or so on YouTube and it was almost okay but I made one say big mistake uh, when I was talking about the uh, circuit with the PMP transistors. Uh, the, the text, the header of that first um, video was two, two simple very small audio amps and perhaps uh, you have uh, seen it or stored it or any way but there was here a flaw. The whole idea was okay, no problems here, but in this original schematic I've connected both emitters and that surely didn't work. Thanks to Ingres Silinch, he attended me on that uh, issue and he was completely right. So now I hope I have done it in the best way. Um, the emitter of the PMP transistor here and it's connected here to the positive lead. What was I talking about that earlier video? Well, it's a class A amplifier. It's not made for battery use because it constantly takes 125 milliampere on 3 volts. When you lift up the voltage to higher higher voltage, the uh, the current raises in a kind of a, uh, a very high way, exponential way. That's what I wanted to tell. This is the first circuit. It's tested. It's completely okay. Made with NPN transistors. And this is that second circuit made with PMP transistors with that flaw in the earlier video. I want to publish it because I think it's very interesting uh, to get, say, a good idea about NPN and PMP transistors. And that was also the trap in to which I have fallen in, in this case. Anyway, thanks again to Ingres Silinch. He has a very good, interesting YouTube channel. Uh, he focuses on VLF radios, etc. etc. I will give the link in the description. Uh, what are the properties of this circuit? Well, um, there's a constant current flowing here in this PMP unit. This also exactly the same here the constant current is in a certain way set with the 470 kilo ohm potentiometer it's class a means that for instance the loudspeaker coil must be able to handle that constant current when that current is too high and the loudspeaker cannot handle it this is by the way 4 ohms and 10 watt, well, I'm absolutely sure that the, 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 the voice coil of this loudspeaker can handle it. Because it's 10 watt, say it's a broadband speaker made for low and higher frequencies. Higher frequencies, especially here, uh, generated in this dome, low frequencies generated by moving this coil up and down with this, say, sloppy rubber uh, ring, etc. But that's not the aim of this video. Anyway, um, the loudspeaker coil must be able to handle that constant current. Here are the used transistors, the BC557B and the BC547B and the BD139 and the BD140. Uh, 547 means NPN, 557 PMP, 139 NPN, 140 PNP. Uh, like I told, the current, when you go to higher voltages, the current will uh, raise exponentially, so only usable in this case on 3 volts. Well, that was more or less all to tell. Both circuits were tested, though I have not draw, drawn the schematic in the earlier video in the proper way. So this is how it has to be. Uh, like I told in the earlier video, 
by the way, I made it this way, but did, but draw it in a in the not proper way. Anyway, uh, I found a lot of noise here in this circuit, parallel to the loudspeaker on the oscilloscope. I did not find here all that noise. So let's listen. Hope it all will work. End of summer by the 126 search. Uh, uh, copyright free music. Well, let me connect the scope, the oscilloscope. This is copyright free music. The scope is here to connect it. <laughs> Perhaps interesting to see all the waveforms. Mm, to this. So. Connect it now. And like I told, the, the output level is not very high. It's in the order of 100 milliwatt, perhaps 200 milliwatt. Uh, enough for say uh, to, to reproduce music in a silent room. That's say the idea of this uh, circuit. And not suitable for battery use because it takes too much current. And here is the sound. So I think it works quite nice. End of summer. Let's go to another music part. Well, this is not very interesting. These are all copyright free music. Is all copyright free music. This is an interesting music part. This is uh, in Albany, New York. In the preceding video I have say, uh, told that this w only works on 3 volts and the uh, sound is not very big anyway. And by the way, this is the good circuit for that PNP part PNP class A audio amp very very simple and also very bare It sounds quite nice when you don't drive up the audio level too high. Anyway, thanks for watching. And with a big loudspeaker box, of course, you will have, say, a better, in a certain way, better sound. And thanks to Interest Silinch again. And over so what?